Today we'll be reading The Tale of Dace Diath from The Tales of the Jedi Companion by George R. Straton. The Tale of Dace Diath The son of Jedi Master Sidrona Diath of Tatooine, Dace spent his entire life under the tutelage of his father. Only recently did he come to Ossus to begin training under Master Vodo. The seclusion of his remote homeworld allowed Dace to concentrate on understanding the Force and allowing it to flow through him unhindered. He studied hard, but learned only at a slow rate, often prompting him to wonder whether he should continue his training, not because he abhorred the level of discipline he had to maintain, but because he didn't want to disappoint his father by failing. If he did not try, he reasoned, then he could not fail. Usually, his father noticed these times of doubt and did all he could to renew Dace's faith in himself and in the Force. Though Sidrona had not had such a difficult time mastering the Jedi way, he had discovered over the years that those Jedi who had worked hardest to attain their connection to the Force often became the most proficient teachers, for they could better understand the trials their students had to overcome. By reminding Dace of that discovery, Sidrona could convince his son that he was not alone in his difficulty, and that he might one day assume the rank of a Jedi Master. After one particularly trying day of training in the oppressive heat of the Jundlin Wastes, Dace lost all hope in his ability. He went to his father for consolation, but this time Sidrona would not offer words of comfort, saying that Dace would have to rely on introspection to discover his destiny, rather than on outside intervention. Surprised and somewhat upset at his father's advice, Dace wandered out into the waning light of dusk, focusing his thoughts on his difficulty. The hours slipped by unnoticed as he worked through his confusion and inner conflict that had finally overtaken his mind until he found himself on the edge of the Dune Sea, half frozen in the pre-dawn darkness. As he slid his gaze across the sandy, moonlit landscape, visual and vocal remembrances cycled up from the depths of his mind, as if his hours-long probe of himself had shaken them loose. One memory in particular stood out above the rest, calling Dace's complete attention. While visiting Ossus as a child, he had had the opportunity to inspect a Jedi holocron. The gatekeeper of the holocron had appeared in a swirl of translucent mist to stand before him. Dace clearly recalled the words the gatekeeper had spoken so long ago. A Jedi who tries with all of his being never fails. It is the Jedi who gives up that fails. Fails not only himself, but the Force as well. Dace stood alone in the frigid night winds that scoured the wastes, reciting the gatekeeper's words over and over. He realized then that his own thoughts had caused him all his difficulty. If he could just practice, train, and learn without these negative feelings about his progress, he would not be hampered, and eventually he would succeed. And he now understood why his father had declined to help him through this dark time. Sidrona knew that Dace would not accept such a philosophy if it came from someone else. Dace had to discover his own path for himself, and must believe in it without question. Otherwise, he would never quell his self-doubt. After two more years under his father's tutelage, Dace felt he was ready to travel to Ossus to continue his studies at the Jedi Training Center. There, he became the student of Master Vodo Siosk Boss, and eventually, along with Jedi apprentices Nomi Sunrider, Shoaneb Kulu, and Kurl Tok, took part in a mission to overcome the dark forces that had festered over the centuries on the planet Onderon. I hope you've enjoyed this reading of The Tale of Dace Diath 